Let it go. All the puts are like whoa. Thing I go. Cause you don't know. I see. I see. I got a better now, girl. Yeah. Got your cold blood. Yeah. No, I eat it. I swear. I swear. Check out Mondo Zero. We're going down to Origins in Columbus, Ohio. This is the first convention of this year. Now the puppet is not coming with us. She actually is being dropped off at a babysitter for the weekend. Ready? Ready, Freddy? You don't want to come on this trip. Wait. Wait. If you want me back. No, I'll tell yeah. you stop trying Yeah, yeah, you got me Let it go All the boots are like, whoa Think I'm cool Cause you know what I see I see, I see I got a bit to know, go Yeah, go you cold-blooded Yeah, go you cold-blooded What do you mean now? Yeah, yeah, yeah Uh-uh Go you cold-blooded Go you cold Go you cold-blooded Slightly sleepier, we have made it to Columbus. Uh, with one important caveat, I forgot my wallet, which probably is not an important issue. Unless you need your ID for anything, like checking into the hotel, uh, checking into the convention, checking into the bar where I'd like to order a bourbon. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be an issue at all. Shira, we have badges. This dodo uh, doesn't have a wallet or took, ID. Okay, it took maybe 10 minutes to find a picture of my idea. Uh, <laughs> And that, that was it. Back at you. I'll vlog right back at you. You don't know how to vlog. I, do, I know how to pick up a camera and point it, Jesse. It's gotten me pretty far so far. <laughs> 40K so far. Um, Negligible. And then I'm going to pick up some dice How's it going? at some point. How's it going, vlog? Hi, Devin. I'm eating on two different vlogs. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go I'm eating on your vlog. I'm eating on this vlog. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Shira respects the privacy of the field. So I just got done filming a top 10 games I think are going to sell out here at Origins. Ran around the ex ex exhibitor hall. Uh, had a lot of fun touching base with people, getting some hugs, saying hello, scheduling some meetings, and of course, figuring out what I'm going to have severe FOMO for throughout the weekend. Sheer and I are actually taking slightly different approaches to, well, the convention and the vlog this time. Loud truck, stop it! Uh, I get distracted by sound, Shira. You know this. Shira took a nap on the bench upstairs. Couch. Couch Very upstairs. Comfy. Well, I ran around and filmed, which is exactly what both of us wants to do. You're going to be trying to... Uh, Listen to what I want to do, which is kind of enjoy the convention, play some games maybe with some friends, find some food in the city, drinks, and socialize while Jesse does business. I'm, I'm going to do as much business as possible. Sure, this might be one of the greatest moments of my life. Um, we, have, we have two handsome gentlemen, both with Red Bull backpacks, Handing out, handing out Red Bull. You need to get Red Bull I, I am going to war against the water that I was forced to drink the other day uh, by dr by drinking more of, of, of this of this stuff. All right, we made it back to the Airbnb. Sure, went shopping for some food. I just ate a donut, which I don't know why I'm telling you as excitedly as I am, but it's a big deal. It just is, and. I finished an edit. I filmed the video, day one of Origins 10 games that I predict will sell out. Surprisingly enough, it is not raining too horribly this bad. It's pouring so hard. Oh, yes, it's just, it's oh so wow, I, not even a drop on my head. It has been raining uh, all afternoon though. I think the rain is lovely, however. I'm a big fan of rain. If you're watching this, let me know. Are you a big fan of rain as well? Shira's kind of a grumble bus. No, I don't like walking in the rain. I like grumble sitting bus. in the rain, not walking rain in Rain is it. lovely, dear. So beautiful, though. Ow! 
Good morning. Today, where you're not vlogging? I thought I'll the wait whole, till you do yours the and whole I'll do concept mine. was to scream no. into each other's vlog cameras. We're already gonna have enough overlap with our vloggity vloggity stuff that I'm just gonna walk with you patiently, and then when you're done, I'll go. We'll take turns. We'll take turns, Jesse. It's the morning of Thursday. We are at the convention hall. I have a lot of meetings scheduled. I look like a very charming duck, uh, which is great. Debatable. I I personally think the dress shirt and tie was the right decision. Yeah, Alex and true. Shira are being converted slowly to my opinion. Uh, but no, today should be good. I'm going to try to keep you all updated and informed about what I do across today and tomorrow, and then put this vlog up on Saturday. So if you're watching this, it means I succeeded. If you're not, I left this part in just to show you how bad I am you know, at my just job. just do next Saturday and they won't know you're wrong. It's true. That is true. Well, now they will. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me, it is not five reasons uh, to not watch Room and Board with Chris George, uh, this guy right here. It is actually five reasons not to watch Board Game Co. Quacking, or yeah, Board Game Co. specifically. Uh, I'll, I'll, leave a, I'll leave a link down below to, uh, you've got so many dongles on you. I know, I got a little GoPro here to, uh, well, that's falling over. Yeah. That, uh, so everyone can see the ground of the convention. I feel like that's a, that's a nice, nice viewpoint for everyone to watch. Biggest, biggest, quickest selling factor to your channel is anytime a Kickstarter crosses a million subscriber or a million, a million uh, dollars, you do a video telling everyone why they should not back it. That's it. You can sum it up to, it's too popular. Yeah, it's uh, but. too expensive, shipping's too high, <laughs> and uh, I hate when people have nice things. That's, yeah, that's that's <laughs> fair, that's fair. <laughs> Would you like to know about this one too? Sure. Yeah, so this Sherlock case connection, what they've done here. So here in the wild, we have a very, very small, Notable hamster. Uh, that is that is uh, the one and only uh, Devon Talks Tabletop. I will be going on safari searches for him throughout this vlog. So if you're looking for rare and exclusive hamster sightings, we'll give them to you. So the main thing that I'm doing today is running around and buying some things and doing some meetings. So I'll keep you all posted on the cool stuff that I find out that I'm allowed to share with you and just all the people I touch base with today. I already bought the brass mags from Chip Theory Games because they're not gonna have any more for arguably a while. Uh, and I thought it would be an amazing giveaway because it's an amazing product. Uh, outside of that, I'm not preemptively buying anything. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna scout first. All right, my first meeting of the day is Mission Control Critical Orbit. Uh, this is a, let me see if I get this right, okay? Yeah. This is a roll and write that is cooperative, that is timed, that is asymmetric. You got it. Uh, I didn't quite do it in the same order. He got a little nervous there. I, I'm gonna dig into this. I'm actually extremely excited about this one. Some of the other meetings, maybe not. We'll ignore those ones, but like, this looks really cool so far. Okay, I have the mic facing towards me, so the audio should be pretty good. This is Mission Control Critical Orbit. Basically, you're going to have these four core boards. One person is gonna be running this. This is the main connector. You're trying to get these pipes back together so that you have oxygen here in the ship. You see, things have gone wrong. You're gonna be rolling dice, and these dice will be hidden from the other players. The other players will be assigning dice to various locations on their board. This one's going to be unlocking abilities that'll be test running cards up there. Uh, uh, by moving uh, dice into these slots that hit the numbers on these little graphs. Over here, we're going to be adding dice in order to draw connecting pieces from the bag that work connected with this, with the valves that work connected with the oxygen. And then finally, this is going to be the piece that sets up the pipes that you need to lay up there on the top board. You see each of these shapes needs to have numbers in corresponding patterns so that you can do the polyomino matching up there on the top. Uh, I think this is, I, I haven't played it yet, caveat, but this is looking really neat. It reminds me of something, uh, now I need to flip the mic around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, one second. So the thing this reminds me of is something along the lines of like Captain Sonar, right? It's, it's this real-time helter-skelter. It plays in 20 minutes and because it's cooperative, you're gonna be bouncing back and forth and working with each other. But the thing that I think reminds me of that system is that you're hidden behind this screen. So information and detail has to be constantly communicated with the people that are on the other side trying to help you stay alive. Like I've already said three times, it looks really cool. So a game coming from Smirk and Dagger, uh, which is Boop here. The, the thing I need to tell my audience is if you liked Shobu as much as I did, 
uh, this is this is one that you should be paying attention to. Strategic little abstract game with adorable kittens that'll trick you into thinking it's lighter than it actually is. The, the object is to bounce kittens from one position to another position, uh, but they can never land and stay adjacent to each other. And you're trying to get rows and columns of three. Trust me, you're gonna wanna check it out. It'll be out in retail. In August. Around August. There you go. Another sighting of the infamous hamster. Oh, no, oh, he's seen us, dear God. All right, so meeting update number three. I, I, I just swung by uh, Hit Point Press. I, I more or less just told them that I am obsessed with them and I, and I want to do stuff. It wasn't a very strategic meeting. Uh, I did end up picking up uh, one of the uh, Humblewood modular campaigns. They have a campaign coming out soon and, and I'm hoping that Quackalope can have some content prepared for it. That's 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 my thought part, thought process. Uh, it's 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 going to be this. Uh, it's another Humberwood. I, I don't I don't know that you know I need to tell you anything about it because it, it's already going to be everywhere. Um, but I'm going to be backing it all 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 in. Uh, yeah, hit point. Very excited about that meeting. Here's the deal. You all watched my video. You all voted. And like I said. Uh, you just got the last sundrop version. Well, is it the last? Yes, he just said one last. Uh, and Robert, can you confirm that I am buying this and not- You are buying- I am buying this Look, to give away to you. Here is you needing to give me your credit card. Uh, I need to give them- A credit card. I need to give them a credit card. Uh, first off, y'all are ridiculous because this is one of the more expensive games. Second off, I'm excited to do a giveaway for you, so- right. uh, but I'm not you know. charging you for these two pieces. Oh, he's. I get a 20 buck cop, but he You're was giving it to other people too. And the statue. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Everything. Uh, very last copy of the sun drop. I, I, I told you we would. I did. Okay, I, gotta go clean up. I, I just have to brag about it now. I, ju I just picked up a okay. obscene copy of Foundations. The uh, best copy, the sun drop one. The sun drop one. I, listen, I had the option to buy something cheaper, but I like you all. For some reason. Too much. Shira. Yes. I understand that we're doing something different with your vlog this time. Yes. I'm going to go around and collect a whole bunch of stuff, and then I'm going to show you it all back at the hotel. Okay. So so during this vlog, people have been seeing you showing off useless things you didn't need? No. It's everything I need. Oh. Useless stuff that I need. Shira that's buys... Fair. That's she buys useless stuff she needs. How's your convention going? It's awesome. I'm taking breaks when I need them. I barely see him. He's having the time of his life being yeah, business. That's true. And I'm having, I'm spending time with friends. Alex is here from Board Game Co. Meg is here from Professor Meg. Um, oh, oh, Chris George is here from Room and Board. Yep. Um, Devin is from Devin Talks Tabletop. And we're just all walking around. Tomorrow we have a date to play Cloud Spire. Nice. Here's the thing. Let me tell you a story about Shira. Let me tell you a story about what she did. I like work. I like vlogging. I like travel related to work. I like buying things related to work. I, I just spent way too much money on foundations because it's for you. It's for work. And she keeps going around going, I want a bag. I want dice. I want pins. And I go, honey, we're not here to shop. We're here to work. And so at I turned it into Pax work. U last year, she said, please hand me the vlog camera. I said, what? She said, I would like to vlog. And I'm like, oh, wow, she's working great, fantastic, amazing. She's on board with me. I end up getting a vlog segment back that is composed of her going, Hi, there's a lot of things I want. And since Jensi only does things for the vlog, I'm going to show you everything I'm buying. Which was a way to game the system. and uh, It means works. And now it's a fantastic segment that will be in every convention vlog we do. Yeah. I love it. I'm yeah. going to be getting a squishy pillow. Do you want to show them a preview of what I'm going to be getting in one of the sneak Apparently, <laughs> Apparently, we're getting uh, one of these. Uh, back at the house. Is that necessary? Yes. Useless stuff she needs. Please help. That's the, that's the send, segment. Send help. Please. Send it. Send help. Thank you. Please. Help. Send it. Please send help. Alright, so I am running out of battery. It is the evening. We're going out to grab some drinks with some other content creators. Uh, so this is the end of, of today. I'm still going to record all day tomorrow and all day Sunday and there'll be more footage. Um, but for now, will we be able to see the rest of the footage or just not this stuff? No, they'll be able to see the rest of the footage. Good, for, 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 for now, we're, we're, we're going to head out, though. Good night. Hello, vloggity types peoples. Uh, and by that, I mean the people that enjoy watching vlogs. I'm on my way this morning to get myself a bright yellow bow tie. Because I didn't have a regular necktie that I thought fit uh, this shirt. So, we're going to play around. I, I don't love bow ties. 
why not experiment a little bit? Let's go. All right, I made it to uh, Dapper on arrival. This is where I've ordered a uh, custom little adorable tie. Again, I'm not convinced a bow tie works for me. But if anyone is going to, it, it, it'll, it'll probably be theirs. I mean, they're bright, colorful, nerdy. I'm excited. I also, like a child, have requested their assistance to, to apply said bow tie. <laughs> I will do my collar myself, though, because I'm not a monster. Ah. That's a really nice shirt. It's too bright for anything other than like a solid black, though, right? It's good. You know what I mean though, like all my all my ties are patterned. No, it's not. That's good. I actually got the top button button for you, so. Oh, there you go. Let me just make sure we're looking good right there. So make sure it doesn't droop while you're walking around. Cool. There you go. Pull that collar down. How's that feeling? So too tight? No. Or that's good? No, I mean the shirt's too tight, but I got other than that, it's here. not a... Uh, not that at all. Sweet. Nice, that looks good. We have been bow tied. I'm now a duck with a tie. Duck with a tie. Got a tie on my duck and I'm ducking the tie. Do I look cute? Comment down below. Let me know. All right, I just got done talking with Inside Up and they have Summit coming out back to Kickstarter soon. They're almost sold out. A reprint is coming with a brand new expansion. This is one of the... Uh, meanest, most ridiculous take that games I have played in a while. Also functions cooperatively, uh, but one of the most interesting ways to play is you're scaling this mountain, trying your best to like make it to the top of Everest and survive, either as a team or by sabotaging everyone you're playing with. Uh, absolutely worth getting your eyes on. We'll have some gameplay out really soon. All right, I just had a meeting. You got to check out Alchemy RPG, which is now possibly one of the things I'm the most excited about here at the convention. I, I have to be honest. I, I didn't know what I was walking into, right? You see a bunch of digital screens and some cool graphics, but this is a collaboration with Hitpoint Press and Alchemy RPG, where they're taking RPG books and compendiums and making them as easy and accessible to play as possible. I think about it as, like, the, the Mac, of the, of the RPG space, right? You've got Windows with Roll20 and all those extra things that give you all the functionality and customization that you want. This makes it so you can actually play the freaking game with incredible graphics, uh, maps supported, lore supported, character supported. I'm gonna be doing more coverage on this, but I, I cannot let you know just how cool this is right now. Hello, Patreon. Uh, this is going to be very echoey, I just realized. Uh, maybe I'll scoot closer. Uh, it's 4... What? It's 4 a.m. Uh, and I realized that I did not do an update this Friday. So now I'm doing an update now. Uh, we're at Origins, but I'm still trying to be as consistent as possible with uh, the stuff here on Patreon. So I'm trying to keep you all updated, let you know what's going on. Uh, let you know what we're planning, let you know what we're doing, just that whole thing. Good morning. Today is uh, Sunday morning in Columbus. I'm heading over to the convention center, looking handsome like normal. Uh, at least that's what I tell myself. Uh, Shira's getting the hotel room packed up, so if you've watched this point, tell her thank you down below, because she's letting me go have some meetings before we leave. And uh, then we're going to pick up Devin, and we're going to hit the road back to Cleveland, where we have a whole week of insane video production on the way. Uh, so, hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog so far. I'll show you a few more booths today, and then uh, it's time for us to pack up and get back on the road. So, I'm here at Ivy Studios, and I'm, I'm not actually allowed to talk to you about the thing that is behind my shoulder. We'll, we'll have coverage coming out soon, uh, but I am insanely excited about exactly what it is they're showing off. That, that's, that's all I'm allowed to say, though. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I just definitely cannot talk about uh, that. All right, just got done with another sit down with Burnt Island Games, Kids Table Board Gaming, and, take, and took a look at the next expansion, the next standalone coming from Creature Comforts called Maple Valley. If you don't know about this game, it's adorable. Uh, really, really, a really, really good uh, worker placement style game with amazing little creatures, but also super family friendly. It's one of those games that you can play with your family and actually still have a good time, which is rare and, and worth 
uh, finding. So I'm, I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing some coverage for them, so stay tuned, but I thought I'd update you all. So if you haven't heard anything about Crimson Scales, we're gonna be doing more and more coverage on it soon. It's basically the most ambitious fan-made project I have ever seen come out of this industry. I mean, that entire box was designed and printed, created and distributed without profit by a group of guys who fell in love with Gloomhaven. And now we have Rove. Rove is going to be a continuation of that love letter, except this one is their creation in a, uh, pre pre a primordial sort of uh, earth-based sentient world where, where the forest is still alive and you're roaming through these unexplored wastelands. It's got elements that are similar to, well, what made Gloomhaven so incredible while still innovating in areas in its own regard. The card system's a little bit different. The way that you engage in storytelling and the choices you have in the campaign are going to be unique and the classes are going to be out of this world. So, this is quickly raising in the ranks of one of my most anticipated games this year. I, I can't wait to do more coverage on it, but I had a chance to play it yesterday, and I had to tell you about it today. So, I just picked up uh, the Coyote Peterson board game. I haven't played it yet. I need to dive into it. It's probably family friendly. It's probably intro level, but that's not the point. I have been the biggest fan of Coyote Peterson since, I mean, day one. Like, I love YouTube and he's part of the culture that I grew up watching from turtle catching back in the back all the way up to the pain index and just now traveling across the country doing his TV show and all the other nonsense he gets into. Uh, my pitch to him is, is basically going to be this. Anytime, anywhere, let's come talk about your board game and I'll get stung by anything you bring. Why not reach for the stars, right? Woo! <laughs> And there you have it. Still talking. There you have it. Origins Gaming Convention is over. We are going to run home with a pile of games, a lot of fantastic relationships, and uh, so much work to do when we get home. And you can already see people are just racing to break down their booths and uh, make it home. So Devin finally made it from helping clean up Lucky Duck and we're packing the car a little bit. Uh, don't worry, I I'm gonna take the back seat because we have plenty of room here. I'll take a nap on the way home. Devin and Shira can talk in the front seat. Uh, it'll be good, trust me, it'll be, uh, It'll be good. <laughs>